Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to another episode here on Estancia Lapacho. Uh, it's been a few hours since our last episode. Here, it's getting into the afternoon. And I've done a few missions and progressed time. If we look up here, you can see our sugar cane that we planted in the last episode has grown. This is the first stage. I'm pretty impressed. It's already like, <laughs> it's as tall as um, like full grown wheat. So it's coming along. Our fields over here are still ready to be seeded. So in this episode, I think I'm gonna put down sugarcane on field one right here. Let's go ahead and get that started since it's a pretty time consuming process. Uh, our equipment should be around here somewhere. There it is. I think I can go ahead and use use the uh, Massey here. Wrong side. Looks like I'm uh, gonna need to buy a power washer here eventually. <laughs> My equipment's getting pretty dirty already. There we go. Whoops. And everything's full, so we can just head right on out there and get started. Let's bring up course play. And we're gonna set this to do field one. Working width's already set. Starting location is the southeast corner. And we're gonna head north. We'll go ahead and tell it to return back here. Generate that course. Make sure I'm fertilizing seed mode. Let's we'll say first waypoint, drive course. And away it goes. So now that we got that started, I gotta figure out what else we want to do around here. Uh, like I said, it might be time to consider plopping down a power washer. Uh, this might be a good spot for it. It's kind of a narrow spot. Can't really fit equipment in there. So let's get a power washer and throw it there. Let's get it. never noticed that before. If you look at the roof of the barn, it's got some rust spots with holes in it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's how giants can explain away um, rain coming through the barn, I guess. I wonder if they'll ever get that fixed. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I could stick it inside there and not have it sitting out. Uh, in that case, I may... We may put the power washer by the well. Wow, I can't get very close there either. Uh, maybe... Next to our workshop. Perfect. All right, power washer's good to go. I'm not gonna worry about washing this stuff. I'll just kind of wash stuff as I bring it back from the field. Uh, let's check our fertilization levels. We should be good, but I just wanna double check on that. And yep, 14's fully fertilized. It's interesting that that's not showing up as being fertilized yet. I would expect to see a darker blue. Maybe it's just 
hasn't done enough rows to register yet. It is using fertilizer, it's down to 96%. And the next field that we're going to have to do is going to be field two. I kind of wanted to stagger my growth cycle so that I don't have everything coming ready at the same time. So that's why I did field 14 and then kind of fast forwarded until it was at the first stage. So what I'll do is once one is done, we'll fast forward again until ones at the first stage and then I'll seed field two. Uh, because field two is a little bit bigger uh, and we've got $141,000, I'm wondering if it's time to consider buying either a second planter or a bigger planter. So this holds 8,900, well, almost Almost 9,000 liters, right? This one's 13, but only does one row. It says it works with the SB. One, th huh, okay. So I think those Agcos, those are weights, but what is the SB1600? Let's see if that's listed as a weight. Yeah, okay, SB1600, okay. Uh, and that must be because they are three-point mounted. They recommend that you use a weight with them. Um, I'm using a pretty big tractor for that, so <laughs> it probably doesn't need a weight. Let's go back over here. So, yeah. Really, I mean, the two row billet planner holds more and it's wider, it needs 220 horsepower, which is not much more than this one, the TT8022. So at 220 horsepower, let's see, there's no options available for it. There's also no options available for this one. This holds sugarcane and fertilizer, all three of them do. Okay. So let's check our garage. Our Massey's 280. And this is only 180, so we wouldn't be able to use the Staras to pull that. That's fine. We'll just use the Masseys for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. And... I've been thinking about my fertilization strategy. And I really do want to incorporate the weeders in here, at least one. So I'm going to buy a weeder. And I can use, I mean, I can basically use any tractor, right? That's 95 horsepower to pull that thing. So even our tiny little, yeah, look at our tiny little Massey right here. 95 horsepower, perfect. The, the little star is 105, so those will make quick work out of pulling the weeders, and that'll get me, you know, pretty cheap layer of fertilization. So I'll grab this tractor here, and we'll head down to the shop, and I'll pick up that new seeder, and then uh, fill it up with fertilizer and sugar cane while it's down there, and bring it back.
And once I'm done with that, I'll pretty much be broke again. So, <laughs> ready to do more missions. As far as I know, there isn't any more harvest missions ready for me to do right now. Yeah, so I did harvest mission on 10 and 29. But it looks like at the next growth cycle, we're going to have quite a few, few fields pop. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> so that, that'll be a good chunk of change if I run through and do all those missions between now and the next episode. I haven't had a chance to test it yet, but I did hear uh, someone confirmed that you can use the Scorpion King to cut down palm trees. So <laughs> that's going to be pretty awesome. I, I would like to do that eventually. Do some logging, clear out this big area over here. I could turn that into a grass field for hay for the cattle. Wow, that is a big old cedar, isn't it? Holy cow. Look at that thing. That's interesting, you can put, um, I refilled that with a seed pallet. It probably wasn't the most economical thing to do, but it was there, so I used it. <laughs> so you don't have to use um, the sugarcane billets. But we need to go buy some more pallets. Let's do like three of those. And a lot of those. <laughs> All right. I think I bought way too much fertilizer. <laughs> yep. Gotta zoom out, this thing's too big. quite a bit heavier. <laughs> this thing really dwarfs this uh, tractor. Can't even see it. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have to find some more equipment storage. I didn't really pay attention when I was going around the map. I don't know if there's other barns for uh, storing equipment, or if this is the only one over here. It seems like there were a few kind of like cleared flat places where I might be able to put one down. Like really this whole area right here I guess was just to the north east of our barn. So this whole area here is really flat. I could probably drop a couple placeables over here. And there's even like this little bit of a driveway around. Perfect. And I'm gonna take the Massey down there to pick up the weeder. Which means I need to leave this weight here. This has a little bit better road speed than the Staras. I think I might leave the forks here too. Alright. Off we go. 
So I'll have to experiment with the weeder. Um, my hope is after the first harvest, uh, I might be able to use the weeder immediately after the harvest and then use it again after the first growth stage. But then uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> I may not be able to use it after that. I mean, in theory, I think I can force it by using course play. Uh, but the hired worker, I think, <laughs> I think the hired worker won't go after the first growth stage. If I remember right, there's kind of been some bugs about that, and so I, I don't know if Giants patched that or not. But we will give it a try. So I like I like this little tractor, um, you know. And I like the idea of using the weeders. Sometimes it's not practical, but I think for our situation on this farm, this would be a pretty good solution since uh, since the field grows back and we don't have to reseed it. We got to put down three layers of fertilization somehow. This would be a good option. see what this looks like. Hopefully there's no cars coming. Yeah, I mean, that looks okay. It doesn't look like it's disproportionate or anything. Whoa! <laughs> I need a weight. I can't steer. Holy cow. <laughs> Alright, well that might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Maybe I should have left the uh, front arms and the forks on. Oh, can't steer, can't steer. Let's see if I can get this up here against this wall. Nice. Alright, I'm going to try and snag that um, fertilizer chucker that's been sitting outside. Move that in. This may be a problem. We'll give it a try. Ah, no, it works. A little light on the front, but it works. All right, not bad. And our cedar is down to 45% sugar cane, so it's still going. So I'll wash off this tractor. Let's see if this is small enough to park in this little shed over here. You can almost fit two of these in one bay. Let's go check on the cedar. Oh yeah, it is not quite halfway done. It's already used 41% of the sugar cane, so I'm going to have to refill that just to do this little field. That's crazy. I think I may eventually trade that cedar in and just get two of these, but... I need to be able to buy two Masseys before I can do that. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? I'm wondering if we can... I kind of want to run around the map and see if there is any other storage buildings that I missed. Alright, so I did have some people say that uh, this is a sell point for straw and hay and such. So even though it's not listed in the economy screen, you can sell it here. 
That's good to know. But yeah, no barns over here by the livestock. No sheds over here by the PGA. One shed over here, but it's where all the feed troughs are. This is the sheep, yeah. So no real equipment storage over there. And we got the sawmill, no real equipment storage over here. That's kind of interesting. So these stacks of logs are like multicolored. So th this looks different. So this might be what you get when you cut down maybe not the um, these trees here. Because those are different than the palm trees. These logs just look like the <laughs> the normal logs that you get on all the other maps. Uh, but okay, so there's no barns over here. Then this is the... what is this? It's just a random house. Um, not really a barn, just a decoration. Okay. Oh, let me slow down my guy so I get a little more control. I was wondering if this opens... No, it doesn't. Thought it'd be cool if that opened and I could walk up there. Alright, and pigs are up here. So this is that fort. the building and then there's the pig barn but there isn't any equipment storage up here and I'm stuck I'm stuck help uh oh oh whoa oh, oh, oh. okay I'm not seeing any no sheds down here. Another antenna tower. Chickens, let's get the eggs over here. Uh, yeah, slow down. Wow, it's like way easier to pick these up than in Goldcrest or any of the other maps that have a bunch of grass in here. <laughs> Alright, I think I got them all. Oh, there's one more hiding. Uh, let's see, the only other place we can check for buildings is going to be down over here. There's something up on top of this hill. Whoa, oh, nope, that's just the sugar refinery. Now 
we're back over to the livestock area. So yeah, there are no barns. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. This is it. This little two stall lean-to and this barn here. Nowhere else to store equipment. So it looks like I'll be using some placeables for that. I mean, I guess we technically have this garage too, but this is where my convertible is going to go. How's this guy doing? 21% sugar cane remaining. Slow but sure. I think maybe once this runs out, I'm just gonna go grab the other one and start seeding from this side of the field and work my way in. And then uh, that way this will be, it'll still have fertilizer in it, but it'll be empty of sugar cane. And when I sell it, then I won't be out the money for the sugar cane. I'm just going to hop in here, ride along, and fast forward and keep an eye on this, and then when it's out, I'll switch it up. Alright, we are out of sugar cane. that off there, I'll wash it and take that back to the store and sell it. And let's grab our new one here. Oh wow. Uh, I think I need a front weight. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right, we got one of these big guys over here. Now for this, um, since I kind of already started that half of the field, instead of using course play, I'm just going to hire a worker. And in theory, once the worker hits the part that's already done, it'll stop. Yeah, let's hope. Okay. And so I guess I gotta take that thing back and sell it. Which tractor do I want to use for that? Uh, I don't know. Let's wash it first. Let's see if this will pull it. <laughs> Yeah, 
Ow. Alright, maybe I can't steer as good as I hoped. <laughs> tractor. <laughs> That's not bad, 17,000. Done with that. Let's uh, see how our cedar's doing over here. Mm, what do you think that is? One up, down, up, down. So that's gotta be four rows, and we're starting our fifth row, our fifth pass. Not bad. Alright, well, I'm just gonna follow along with this guy and wait for him to finish the field. Alright, that worked out well. Field one is done. Take this thing back and fill up what I can, wash it off, and I think we're going to call it a day. I'm going to run this down to the shop and pick up the couple pallets worth that I've got sitting down there. Need a few more pallets. All full. Take this back, wash it, and put it away. So, I mean, like I said earlier in the episode, now that I got that field seeded or planted, uh, is it seeded or planted? Uh, I'm going to advance time, speed up crop growth, and I'll do any harvest missions that come up, but then in the next episode we'll go ahead and seed field 2, and go from there. So, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, it's a little bit of a quick one, don't have a lot of work to do. Uh, if you did, just please give it a thumbs up, that helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. And check out the description below for a link to my Discord channel. Uh, welcome to come join us over on Discord and join in the conversation. We've got quite a few people over there and we like to talk about Farming Simulator. And uh, if we can get enough people interested, I've got a multiplayer server that uh, we can get up and running and you know people are welcome to come participate in that too so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode